welcome back to your fourth free trick. I'm Wolfgang Reber and today we're going to have a bit of fun. I have over here a napkin. I'm sure most of us have paper napkins at home. All I'm going to do is just tear it up and see what happens. Now then we we'll tear it in half like this and then we'll do one more over there. And well now we'll just mess it up into small pieces like that. When you fold it up something really cool can happen. Watch this. Oh don't worry about that. And now when I unfold it like this, you see that we have a brand new restored napkin over here like that. Ha! Ah, what do you say about that? Yes? Isn't that an awesome trick? Excuse me? The piece that fell. Oh, th this, this one here. Oh no, that, that's not the torn pieces. That is a, another restored napkin like that. And that's the part that really gets everyone. <laughs> Isn't that a cute little twist to the torn and restored newspaper or paper trick? How did I do that? Well, in magician's terminology, we call this a sucker trick. Why? Because we suckered you into looking somewhere else when we did the sneaky move uh, so blatantly and openly. We just basically misdirected you, that's all. But it's a great trick because it gets the audience involved and they all think they've caught the magician out. So it's got that emotional reaction. And in the end, you're like 10 steps ahead. Isn't that wonderful? Let me explain to you how it works. You need three identical napkins. It's as simple as that. There are three. They're not just two, they're three because you're adding the sucker element. You take one of the napkins and you fold it in half. Uh, you fold it basically as small as you can, in half, in half, in half, like that. And you do exactly the same with the second one. So you're going to be hiding two in your hands. I folded both of them up like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a finger palm. That's the palm of your hand. You're basically going to put them in your fingers and hold them like this. You can see quite clearly there. So from the front, your hand looks quite natural. This is called a finger palm, like that. Now I pick up the napkin on the table and I show everyone the napkin like this. This is the audience view. The back view is of course there with the other spare ones in my hand. No one knows about them. Also, because the napkin is right over your hand, it hides if there was a glimpse any of those. So you can show the napkin like this. There's one very interesting thing about paper napkins. One way they tear evenly, the other way they don't. So always find the way that they tear smoothly, then you can tear them into nice squares. Again, you just keep holding this here, takes a bit of practice, and you tear it a few times in half like that. Now you can turn it, you can start ripping them like this. You see, that's the difficult part to tear. Now you've got all these pieces here in your hand. What you're going to do now is, okay, let's hope nothing drops like that when you do it. What you do is once you've got that, you swap them around. And as you do this, you drop a piece onto the floor. Just have a quick glimpse of, oh, and ignore it. Make as if you're trying to cover it up. Now what you're doing here is you're actually palming the torn pieces. And now you're opening up the restored or the other duplicate napkin like this. Everybody is so intent on the piece that you dropped that they're not even going to worry even if they catch a glimpse here or if your hand is in any way uncomfortable holding this because they're all worrying about that one. Now all you do is once it's restored you now just take those and you just put them in there in one movement and you crumple the whole napkin around it all like that and just drop it right there in full view. You're completely clean as we say. Everyone looks at this piece over there you go What's your problem? This is actually a restored napkin. And then people just start bowing down towards you and freaking out. This does take a bit more practice than the other tricks, but it shouldn't take you that long. Not going to cost you much. It's just a few paper napkins and you'll have a lot of fun with it. I will see you tomorrow with the last trick, which is a really awesome card trick. So until then, bye.